Hello everyone, it's Monday morning, about 8 in the morning. Be saved, words of value, Romans 10, 8 through 13, Romans chapter 10, verse 8 through 13. There's more than one step to salvation. And my phone cut out on me, this is a take two. So I ought to read it a little bit better. I want to read to you what I wrote. Underneath here, it's hard to see, and up this side. We'll start and end with that. It reads like this. The Lord raised, name, call upon Jesus, Name has two parts, the proper name, Lord Jesus, title, name, Jesus, authority, power, glory, light, good, truth, speaking right in God's righteousness. Holy, he that is holy be holy still. The second holy is holy, hallowed, sanctified, set apart. Holy, spirit, life, immortality, eternal, sp spelled spiritually, E-T-E-R-N, capital E, capital L, with a singular dash under it. Infinity, above, third heaven, paradise, life, book of life, water of life, tree of life, eternal life, spiritual life. Now I read Romans 10th chapter, 8th verse. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips, in your heart mind. That is the word of faith in Christ, which we preach. Verse 9, because if you confess with your lips, Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart mind that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's two parts. You believe and confess Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead. Okay, verse 10. 10.10 10, 10 of Romans. For man believes with the heart mind and so is justified and he confesses with his lips and so is saved. Verse 11. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. Verse 12, there, for there is no distinction or difference between Jew and Greek. They're both humans that need to be born of the spirit, Nicodemus, speaking to a Jew. The same Lord is Lord of all and bestows his riches upon all who call on him. Did you go forward to the altar? Did you open your mouth? Did you call on him? Did you call him Lord and say that the Father has raised you from the dead with your voice or your mouth? Did you call on him? The same Lord is Lord of all and bestows his riches upon all who call on him. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But how are men to call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him in whom they have not heard? Okay, that was, out, that was the 14th verse, halfway through. Let's back up to what I started with. Many valuable words. There's a Bible study on each of these words. Lord, raised, Call on the name, name, two parts behind the name, Jesus, proper name, Yahshua, Yahshua, Yahoshua, Jesus, authority, name, authority, power, glory, light, good, truth speaking, right. Holy Spirit, life, immortality, 
eternal spelled spiritually e t e r n capital e capital l with a singular dash underneath it the first title of god l first strong and almighty infinity above third heaven paradise life your name must be written in the book of life to keep yourself out of the second death the lake of fire book of life water of life life living water of life living living water life living life tree of life eternal life spirit of life immortality dwelling in the light life bernard eugene Beringer jr i hope this second take took love you bye